Howdy everybody and welcome to the future of Minecraft. Today we're going to be taking a look at the test resource pack that Mojang have recently released. That is a preview of the future texture pack, or the future textures rather, within Minecraft. So currently this pack exists as a test preview version of what the future textures will look like in the game itself. And as such I want to do a small review here about all the textures and how they fit within the game relative to other textures. So some textures have changed pretty dramatically, so you can see over here, for instance, like the beetroot texture right here, that's changed pretty dramatically. The wheat texture as well, over here, uh, the beds have changed pretty dramatically, all the leaves have changed, the glass is now much clearer. Uh, so yeah, pretty significant changes, the glowstone has changed a lot. Almost all blocks have changed, the only ones that haven't are essentially the concrete powder and concrete as well as the glazed terracotta and the shulker boxes have also not changed but all other textures essentially have changed you can see the obsidian has changed here the vines I think look really nice right here we got melons right there that has have a vastly different look Let me just put this down over here to show you guys yeah there's the melon definitely gonna be uh, yeah a different change for that we also have new changes to like note blocks, the ores have all changed very subtly. Uh, the ore changes are that essentially instead of just having the stone and then the the green and, and white pixels here, they now have subtle like in-between pixels so like the ore is almost like glowing. You can see it more clearly with the, with the diamond like the blue is sort of leaking into the stone a little bit. And that actually happens with all of the blocks. Yeah, you see the red of the redstone sort of leaking out a little bit. And that happens with all of these ores now. So that is pretty awesome. And let's go ahead and now take a look at these blocks in relation to each other and how they fit into the game now. Uh, this is going to be going around this map, which is made by Q-Magnet. This is actually a resource pack testing map uh, developed and created by Q-Magnet. But I think this really helps in showing how all the blocks will fit in with everything else. So instead of going block by block for every block, we're going to take a look at the how the blocks work together in in the context of the game. So let's go ahead and let's start off. Uh, let's go to the biomes and structures area. And we'll take a look at some of the structures and how they've, they'll, they'll change. So over here we have the village. So you can see immediately the new wood texture and how it affects the village. So here's the new oak wood plank texture right here. Looking rather interesting. And also the cobblestone texture has changed. And of course the the glass, the clear glass, which looks somewhat decent. Uh, I would, I think one thing that they could do with the glass, I think they should just get rid of these streaks altogether. Like it's already clear with the border, like sort of what it is and what sort of block is there. But the streaks, I'm just not, I'm just not a big fan of the streaks. Like you've already taken it out of the middle section with this glass texture. Why not just go all the way? Why not just take that out totally? But yeah. That's, that's beside the point. We're just taking a look in here, seeing what this looks like. You can also see the new oak wood texture there. The new path texture is a little bit less rugged, I would say. Um, and then there's gravel right here. Which, the gravel, I really like how it looks far away, but up close it's a little bit blurry. But, yeah. I mean, it, it's a little bit different, but yeah, it is sort of what it is. And then we have, of course, the crops, which look quite a bit different in the farms and everything like that. Let's go ahead and go on over to the Savannah Village. Take a look at what that looks like. So here's the Savannah Village right here. Let's go into this area here. You can see the acacia wood is somewhat saturated actually. Like the, uh, the acacia wood of this, this building here. You can see some of the new items in here. Uh, I I've, I really like the iron ingot actually. The apple is pretty good. I like the saddle as well. It's a lot more detailed. Uh, the bread looks pretty nice, and the iron horse armor, this actually looks the same. I don't think that's been retextured quite yet. Villagers, villagers look the same, although zombie villagers, as you'll see, have changed quite dramatically. And let's go ahead and now, let's go over to the Taiga Village. Here's what the Taiga Village looks like, or a generic Taiga Village looks like right here. So there's the new spruce. And if we make our way inside here, you can see what this looks like on the inside. I really like the spruce wood texture. I think this is one of the best wood textures now. Um, it, it was before, but it still is. So <laughs> that is that right there. The wheat, I think, looks really nice with the with the new spruce wood here. 
or I should say the new wood, the new wheat rather, looks really nice with the new spruce wood here. The carrots being a little bit taller also adds to the uh, to the farm here, and especially over here in the desert villages, the wheat looks fantastic here. Uh, in fact, seeing this wheat here makes me wish that like crops would change their colors a little bit depending on what biome they're in, uh, which is not the case right now, because like this golden wheat fits so well with the sandstone here. Like it just it looks it fits so perfectly. Like it would be it would be better if this was you'll see later on in the in the video. Um, essentially, if this was a little bit greener, it would work better in plains. Uh, but here it, it works very well with the sandstone. You can see the new sandstone texture here coming through. Uh, the new smooth sandstone, and here's what it looks like on the inside with the new glass and things. Also, the door has changed. Door textures have changed. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of all these little, like, cutouts in the doors. Uh, if I go ahead and just look in here, actually, let me just show you, uh, what I'm talking about here. It's very apparent in the iron door. So if I do this, well, let's, let's go over here. Let's go to here. Yeah, so if you take a look at this iron door, it looks almost like a, like a Lego mold of some type. So I wish they would just cut out at least these top two, like this square here and this square here, this cutout. And maybe even just all the rest of the cutouts to be sort of like the old door. Um, but it looks, it looks like a, like a cast mold of some type, like a Lego cast mold. And yeah, the, the oak door falls victim to that, as well as the trap door. The trap door also, I think, is a texture in need of improvement. It's just a little bit too dull and a little bit too moldish. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, so those are the villages right there. Let's go ahead and go on back to the center. We'll take a look at some of the other structures here. Go on down here. Take a look at the end city structure. The end city structure, I think, looks pretty much the same. There are some subtle differences, though. The end rod, for instance, the end of it, it's no longer purple. It's gray instead now, which I'm not a big fan of, but I know a lot of people were, so uh, that's a good change that a lot of people will probably be happy about. The purple blocks, the purple blocks look a little bit more plasticky, which... In all honesty, I would prefer if they just tear down the whole idea of the purple blocks being like they are and just totally redo the texture because I still don't think much goes with them. Uh, I would say this is an improvement on the purple texture, but the texture was so bad to begin with that I think, honestly, it would be a much better if they just tore it down and maybe made this like a dark purple, like a super, super dark purple, uh, similar to like what they have with the dark uh, prismarine over there. Um, like this block would be like the dark prismarine, but purple, like a really dark, deep purple. I think that would make these look super awesome. There's also a new endstone brick texture, which I think looks better. I think that's actually an improvement. This may go with more blocks now. We'll have to see. And so that's the end cities right there. Let's take a look at the ocean monument. The ocean monument, th these blocks have changed quite a bit. The prismarine blocks, the prismarine bricks, I should say, look a lot more sturdy. They, they've been sort of stretched vertically a little bit, it seems. And they're a little bit more, it, it just feels like they're more like well put together. Like they actually could survive for a long time underwater uh, now, it seems. And then we have, of course, the prismarine, which I think looks nice. And the dark prismarine, which it looks very grid-like here, uh, more so than it did before, but I still think it works well um, inside here, like in, in this, in the context of this, uh, ocean monument. If we get inside here, you can see what it looks like inside. Here's the gold blocks on the interior, which have changed quite a bit. And yeah, that is the, the ocean monument build right there. Let's get over here and take a look at the stronghold. The stronghold now, here's what this is looking like right here. Uh, I can just sort of walk through this a little bit here. And you can see, yeah, all the stru all basically all the, the blocks in here have changed uh, quite dramatically. The stone brick has actually changed quite a lot, uh, as have the mossy stone brick and the cracked stone brick. However, I'm the only thing I don't like about this is that it feels the whole structure here now feels a little bit maintained. I want to say, like before, it was all like grimy and old, and you didn't really know like 
the feel of it when you walk through was like this is a place that hasn't been visited in like hundreds of years. Now I feel like it's a little bit less of that. It's more like this thing is uh, this thing is somewhat new almost because the, the stone brick texture is so different and it's so like crisp now. Um, same with the cracked stone and the the bossy stone. So I feel like it's lost a little bit of that. So I don't know. We'll have to see if they if they change these textures up from that sort of feeling. Um, so I can just walk through here and you can see a little bit more of the the area and what it looks like. It's a little bit dark down here. Here's these iron doors still. Dang, they got they got to change the iron door. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just not a good texture. Um, yeah. So that is that. That is the stronghold structures right there. Let's take a look at the nether nether fortress structure. Uh, so here is the nether fortress structure. You also notice there are new mob spawners, by the way. So the mob spawners are no longer like iron bars uh, surrounding a mob that's you know dancing around inside. It's now like a bluish, uh, dark purple type thing with a monster face on it. And the nether brick has also changed along with the nether brick fence. Uh, I think this is actually quite a bit of an improvement to the uh, to the fortress, the look of the fortress right here with this nether brick. It actually looks like actual brick now, so I think it I think it actually works quite well. And we can go in here and take a look on the inside, what it looks like. Yeah, I think it definitely looks quite a bit improved. We can also go down here and maybe see. Let's see, is there any uh, nether? Another wart around here. Let's check down here. See if we can see some of that. Yeah, another wart room right here. Yeah, so another wart has changed up quite a bit here as well. So that's what it looks like at the various stages of growth right there. And also the soul sand has changed quite a bit. Soul sand looks a little bit different. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this more. But as you get further away, it looks more and more like there's like souls, like, like ghouls, like ghosts inside the block, which I think is a cool feature. Whereas up close, it doesn't really, you don't really see that that much. So I think that's a really neat feature of that soul sand texture right there. Uh, right, so those are the big structures. Let's go down and take a look at some of the other structures, smaller structures like the dungeons and stuff. Uh, so we will go to this one right here. Yeah, so let's take a look at the woodland mansion. Woodland mansion here with, of course, the dark oak wood. Dark oak wood planks, the cobblestone looks a little bit different than it did before. We get in here, you can see, especially the birch makes this one look quite a lot different. Because the birch is sort of like a subdued, subdued birch now. A little bit. Here's what the, uh, the farms look like. That looks pretty nice actually right there. Pretty decent. So, yeah, that's what the uh, woodland mansions are looking like now. So let's just fly on down here. Supersonic speed. There we go. Here is the desert temple right here. Desert temple looking good with the uh, the sandstone. Here's the jungle temple. Uh, the jungle temple. I think these could use these could use another block here, like this mossy stone. If that was made to be like a biome specific stone, uh, like a, the the color of the moss was made biome specific, I think this could really benefit. You'll see that when we go to the the biome, the jungle biome. Next thing over here is the dungeon. So this is one of the dungeons now. You can see the moss stone here works very well with the cobblestone. So yeah, it works very well with the cobblestone. And you can obviously tell it's mossy stone now. And of course the mob spawner right there. We also have some items in here that have changed quite significantly. As well as these textures here have changed a little bit. Uh, making our way over here, we got the igloo. The igloo has changed a little bit with the snow. Snow is probably the main texture here that's changed. And then if we come on down here, we got ourselves a zombie villager, which looks a lot different. A little bit, a little bit greener than it was before. Actually, quite a bit greener. And then we have this awesome brewing stand. Check, a look, take a look at this. Like, this is one of my favorite new textures right here. This brewing stand texture, along with the the potions. Actually, the potions also look really good. Uh, but yeah, that that sort of orange transitioning into yellow. Makes the brewing stand look awesome now. And then, yeah, also new cauldron. New cauldron texture. So that's the igloo. Let's make our way up here. And we'll make our way over to the witch hut. The witch hut, yeah, pretty standard, pretty straightforward witch hut. 
uh, just spruce wood and stuff like that. So that's what that's looking like. And of course we got the fossils. All these are also considered structures. So yeah, these are looking a little bit different, but it's more or less the same with the bone block for the most part. So those are the structures. Now let's go ahead and make our way over to the biomes. So the biomes are right here. Let's take a look at this. So you can see here, this is the, this is the plains biome. Uh, one big difference between the 1.12 textures and this is the grass. The grass has changed quite a lot. So yeah, there's actually, I'm not sure if this was a thing before, but the grass actually is now at different heights depending on which block you place it in. Which I'm not sure if that was a thing before, but it is now, if it's not. Um, so yeah, that makes it a little bit nicer in these, these plains biomes. Um, you can see everything around here. Deserts. Deserts are over here. And you can see the nice wheat. Yeah, the wheat looks great with this. Cactus also looks pretty good with in this desert biome. So that's what this is looking like right here is the desert. Uh, leaves have changed a lot. So birch leaves and the, the oak leaves right here. They're quite different. You can see if I get two of these on my hotbar. They're quite significantly different in color and in like the pattern. So yeah, leaf selection is gonna be more of a deal because yeah, the leaf patterns are not the same or they're not anywhere close to the same anymore, I should say. But just coming through here, the trees still look a little bit fake to me. They look a little bit cartoonish, uh, but it does sort of go away if you get like out here, you can see it's a lot less than when you get up close. So I'm not sure how they would address that, but I think it does need to still be addressed a little bit because wood is probably one of the most common blocks. And yeah, to have it look cartoonish up front, like up close like this, uh, is somewhat of a problem, I think. But as you get further away, like going flying over this, I think this looks really nice. Like you have a, a huge difference in vegetation, which is very nice to see uh, because usually, at least in the current game, everything is somewhat the same. Um, so that's nice to see. We also have different flowers and stuff like this, uh, which you'll see when we get to the flower forest over here. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's what the taiga looks like. Again, different type of leaf compared to the birch and the oak of the regular forest. Uh, vastly different type of leaf, I should say, right there. Uh, the vines here, the vines, I love the vines. I love the new vines, how you can see how they sort of snake up the tree. Yeah, it's just awesome. Yeah, the vines are really, really cool. Uh, over here we have river biome. So this is an entire river biome right here. Right there. Let's take a look at the nether. Here's what I want to show you with the uh, the soul sand. So the soul sand, if you get up close to it like this, you can see there's you can see there's a little bit of a face in here, a little bit of a face in here, but if you get out here, then you can see quite clearly the ghasts and the ghouls and the ghosts and it, which I think is really cool. Sort of a little subtle feature, uh, but yeah. Definitely is, I think it's pretty cool. Um, also, the nether quartz now fits in quite well with the nether rack. So you can see it's very much a part of the nether rack now, which is very nice to see. And there's also new obsidian. New obsidian texture right here. Let me just get this out of the uh, nether biome here. Uh, so new obsidian texture right here is what that looks like. It's it. This is actually a really versatile block now, I think. I think this is a huge improvement over the current version because it's purple enough to work with other colored blocks, but it's also black enough to work with things like uh, black concrete and things like that. Uh, so if I just get out like black wool, for instance, uh, let's get out some black concrete. And we'll get out the black wool here. You can see it works quite well with these blocks. Look at that, that looks great. Even this little thing right here. <laughs> it looks awesome. It looks like just like a shinier version of the black. Uh, and then with the black wool, of course, it, it works as well. So yeah, the obsidian I think is definitely, definitely an improvement. Uh, you can see a little bit more of the obsidian here in the end biome and what it looks like right there. So that is looking nice. Haven't doesn't look like they've changed the end crystal yet, but that might be coming soon. Uh, let's make our way over to the Mushroom Island area. Um, this area was the most disappointing area for me in terms of the textures. Um, the mycelium. I think the mycelium is a slight improvement, but I still think it needs a little bit of work. Uh, I still think it looks not that great overall. And it's just a little bit like more blurry than it was. 
before. I think it does look better than it, than it did before, but I think it could be even better to the point where people would actually want to move to a mushroom island. Uh, the mushroom blocks themselves, I like the red one. The red one's decent. The stem, the stem definitely needs work. I think the stem is not good. Um, the old stem with the, with the vertical lines, I think, worked a lot better. And the brown mushroom is just a complete redo, as far as I'm concerned. Like, I don't know what happened here. This just, this is just not good. It's just bad. And the stem here, yeah, same, same thing with the other stem, really. Just, yeah, it needs to be, needs to be improved, I think. Definitely could be improved. And the bottom, the inside part of it, could be improved as well. Uh, as far as the smaller mushrooms here, I like the brown. I think this is a really good brown texture mushroom. This is really good. It really fits well with the mycelium and everything, uh, as well as with the brown mushroom. Uh, the red ones, though, the red ones are a little bit of a different story. I feel like the red up here is a little bit too bright. Um, so if that was just toned down like the, the top like 12 pixels here or whatever, if these were toned down a little bit to fit better with the red mushroom, I think these would would be okay. But right now they sort of stick out. Like if I get out here, you can see it clearly sticks out like a, store, a sore thumb. So I feel like that should be fixed. Um, let's move on now to the jungle. This highlights what I was saying earlier about the moss stone needing to be biome specific. Um, so I like that the moss stone now fits with the cobblestone and that it has the same color scheme. But in this specific case of the jungle temple, it does not fit at all. So like if I if I'm coming up this if I'm to an, if I'm a new player I'm coming up to this, I'm saying why is this why is this uh, block here not the same green as this? Like this is a jungle biome where stuff stuff flourishes like life flourishes. So why is this so dull and this like a vibrant huge bright and green color? It, the the contrast here is just too much. So something needs to be done here about this mossy stone brick. Uh, that would be my criticism there. I think the overall, though, the jungle looks great. I think it looks really nice. Uh, I like the leaf pattern here. Really cool leaf pattern. Uh, here's the birch forest. I'll just fly through the rest of these here. Dark oak here with the uh, the new leaf pattern for the dark oak, which is nice. It has like a pretty significant cover in terms of the amount of leaves here for the, uh, the dark oak, which makes a nice canopy when you get on the underside here. As you can see, we'll just get on in here. You should be able to see. Yeah, it makes like a nice canopy here as you sort of walk through the dark oak forest. So that's really awesome. You can see the little splotches of sunlight peeking through. I like it. Um, let's see. Savannah. Savannah right here. It looks, it looks pretty much the same. Savannah does, I would say. Uh, here's the Mega Taiga biome right here. And the ferns in the Mega Taiga, I think, are really awesome. They did a great job with these ferns. Really like those. Really cool. Uh, same with the pods all. I think the pods all looks great. Really good stuff there. Mesa biome. Mesa biome. You can see the red sand down here. Red sand is it's pretty repetitive for the red sand, I have to say. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. The uh, the terracotta looks a little bit more um, textured, basically, than it did before. Same with the the colors of the terracotta right around here. So yeah, a little bit of a I don't know. It feels like it could use a little bit more texture, honestly. Because right now it just feels very um, generic to me, at least. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. The dead bushes do look really nice here, I must say. Dead bush texture. Looks pretty cool. Flower forest obviously has changed a lot because all the flower textures have been changed. Or most of them have been changed, I should say. Um, so, yeah. Different, different looks for the flower forest biome. Very subtly different looks. I still think the best one, the best flower, by far, is the dandelion. Dandelion texture. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Uh, and then the ice plains biome, or the ice spikes biome, rather, with the new ice texture and the new ice uh, packed ice texture. So that also looks quite significantly different. So, yeah, you can sort of see the changes here. And then here's the ice right here. So that's the ice, and that's the packed ice. Right there. So those are pretty much all the biomes. Let's move on now to some of the items and the uh, the item icons that go with it. So let's take a look at these new items. So 
not all these things have been retextured, but quite a lot of them have. So uh, biggest biggest change here is to the spectral arrow. This thing used to be just like a, sort of like a glowing thing, but now it's like almost a gold arrow, which I really like. Um, you can see it right there, actually. So that is the uh, new spectral arrow. Uh, shields have been retextured a little bit. You can see there's more of an emphasis on like the vertical verticality of the shield uh, and like the wood that goes into making it. So there's more of that, and you can see the rivets a little bit more uh, prominently here as well. Uh, the banners, banners are pretty much the same as far as I can tell. The Totem of Undying here. <laughs> this is an awesome new texture, the Totem of Undying. Uh, let me see if I can just pull this out of here. Uh, there it is, right there. Yeah, it's like a little dude now. It's like a little, uh, it's like a mini, mini dude in there, like a little villager guy, uh, which makes sense because you get these from illagers. So that's pretty awesome. I really like that texture, actually. Uh, books have subtly changed. They're a little bit more rounded. Um, so they're not quite as harsh in terms of, like, what they're, like, the rectang rectangulali rectangulality. Is that even a word? Um, but, yeah, they're a little bit more rounded, so I think it's improvement. The potions. Oh, guys. Guys. Look at the potions. Look, look, hold on. Let me Let me pull these up here. Let me clear my inventory. Look at these potions, guys. Oh my goodness, so good. So good. The best. The best new texture in terms of the items. By far. These have been improved significantly. They shouldn't do it they shouldn't do a thing to fix these from this point on. These are absolutely perfect textures for the potions. Really, really, really quality texture right here. Look at these things. They look fantastic. Get throw them like look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely wonderful potion texture. Uh, the dyes, the, some of the dyes have changed a lot. Uh, the ink sacks are more like, uh, like an actual ink sack here. Uh, cocoa beans are like a pile of beans now. Um, and then the rest of the textures are more or less the same, but yeah, there are some differences in like the, the cactus green, the lapis look a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same. Uh, minerals and ingots, big changes here. Big, big changes here. Um, uh, one thing I'd like to point out that I'd like to see changed, perhaps, is that flint looks a lot like uh, car uh, charcoal, <laughs> charcoal and coal. Um, so I'd like to see a little bit more of a differentiation between these two. Um, but otherwise, I think it's it's it, they're pretty good. They're pretty good textures. Um, yeah. So you can see the diamond. The diamond has sort of lost its luster, unfortunately, to me. I feel like the old texture had a little bit more luster, a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more shine, a little bit more pop to it. So I'd like to see that come back with the diamond. Right now it just looks kind of like a like a little bit of a light blue blob almost. Um, so I'd like to see that one improved. The ingots here, really, really good. I actually really like these ingots. Um, the shading is really nice. I know before it was a little bit different than this. And uh, Jappa listened to the community and changed it a little bit. And now it's looking nice. It's looking really nice. Uh, same with all these other ingots here and bricks. Um, really nice. Uh, the redstone. Redstone has changed a little bit. Uh, I really like the redstone sprite now. The glowstone. Ah, the glowstone. I'll talk a little bit more about this when we see the, the glowstone texture, but I think this needs improvement. Uh, this is a little bit... I don't know. It's like it's like changing a fundamental aspect of glowstone to not have this be like gold and yellowish and have it be old uh, and like orange. Uh, almost like a rusted... Rusted... Uh, mineral so i'd like to see that changed a little bit to be more like the the color of the gold except yeah if you just put the color of the gold over here i think it would be perfect um so yeah that's that uh we've seen the lapis already the nether quartz i really love this nether quartz texture um but i would like to see <laughs> this is more of a feature request than anything i want to be able to place this down in the world like and i have like a crystal nether quartz thing here like, if I, if I were able to place this on this block, and it showed up with this texture, like that. Except in, like, block form. Like, a, one block tall. That would be absolutely amazing. But this texture is really, really good. And it's made me actually want that feature of the crystal being placed on the ground. That would be... That would be amazing. Um, anyway, yeah. That's that. Emerald texture, I think, is okay. It might need a little bit of tweaking. But it's generally alright. Um, you can see a little bit of, like, a... An angle in there so I think that does need a little bit of work but uh, yeah other than that uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that food a lot of stuff changed here um, the apple is looking cool 
Um, let's see, we got carrots, which they seem a little bit pointy. <laughs> pointy carrots, but that's how sort of carrots are in real life, so I'm not really that, that worried about it. Golden apple texture I love. This really deep gold looks really cool. Same with this uh, notch apple. Um, the bread looks great. Um, the rabbit, rabbit looks good, I think, and as does the raw rabbit. Um, and then the potato, of course. Potato is top notch. Top notch potato right there. As is the baked potato. I like those. I like those textures a lot. Let me see what the cake looks like on the ground. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Tasty. Tasty cake. I like it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Oh, the fire charge, though. Really? I haven't seen this one yet. That's nice. That's real nice. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it's like a fire ball, essentially. That's good. Uh, the buckets look really cool. They're sort of bowed out a little bit, but I like it. Uh, the papers has changed quite significantly, which I like. Um, yeah, all the other textures here I really like a lot, actually. Um, yeah, so looking good there. Uh, mob drops and stuff. Uh, a lot of changes to mob drops, as you can see here. I really like this feather. This feather is one of the best new textures, I think. Right there, look at that. That's beautiful. Definite improvement over what we had before. So definitely digging that. Uh, let's see, what else? We got salmon looking a little bit different. The rabbit hide is definitely an improvement as well. Uh, so that's that's really good. These gold nuggets are nice. The bone's nice. Yeah, all of these are really good. Uh, I'm not a... F the, f the prismarine crystals looks just like a bundle of crystals. Uh, maybe it would be better as sort of a texture that was similar to the quartz except it was called you know prismarine crystals that would be great yeah i would like that to see see a prismarine crystal texture similar to the nether quartz texture uh over there uh shulker box here we got nether stuff alchemy stuff alchemy stuff uh as i said before brewing stand definitely top-notch brewing stand no doubt about it really really nice um most of the other stuff here is pretty decent uh, the fireworks included. The cauldron has a nice little item now as well, so that's cool. Uh, let's see, there were some subtle changes to mob heads and, su and such. Um, so if I get these out here, you can see now on the side of the skeleton, there's now like a jaw, like a defined jawline. Same thing with the wither skeleton right there. So that's just a subtle change there. But yeah, I like it. Uh, the redstone components, uh, we gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about the redstone lamp. Um, yeah. Everything else, all the other textures here, I like quite a bit. Uh, the hopper has changed quite significantly, but I like the way it looks. The redstone lamp here. Um, yeah. This is not very good. Um, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Needs to be changed. Um, I do like the way it looks when it's turned on. But when it's turned off, I don't know, it looks like it's, uh, it, it doesn't look like a lamp to me when it's turned off. It's very brown, it's very dull. Uh, I get that it's supposed to be like an old time lamp type thing, but it doesn't have the luster of the old texture, essentially, when it's turned off. Uh, I, can't, I can't look at this and say that's a lamp right now, like it's, I don't even know what it is. I really wish this will change. Um, so, that is my feedback on that one. Just please change the lamp. It's just one of the one of the ones that I would definitely change. Next up, we got minecarts. Minecarts. Uh, the inside of minecarts have actually changed a lot. Uh, we'll see this later on as well. Uh, the boats have changed a little bit, so these all look pretty good uh, with the new wood and stuff. Um, but yeah, the minecarts changed a lot. Otherwise, uh, these are all somewhat similar to what they were. So next we have nether textures. And in these nether textures, I like all these. Uh, let me just show you a few of these right here. So if I put down nether brick, uh, that's what that looks like. We got the nether wart block, which I, I'm not sure this has actually changed. It looks very similar to what it did. But that's actually, this nether brick is an improvement. Uh, as is the red nether brick right here. So this is actually... Quite a significant improvement, in my opinion. Makes the, br the brick texture pop a little bit more. However, I want to talk about the glowstone. This glowstone, I feel like, should be changed, definitely. The reason I think it should change is because... When I look at this block, I see not glowstone, but I see 
pieces of glowstone within another block, a different block type. Um, it feels like if there was another block like around this, similar to like what happens with the uh, the nether wart and the nether rack, or not the nether wart, the nether rack, the nether rack and the quartz. Like you see how this sort of this sort of fits in, like the quartz block fits in with the nether rack. I feel like this is what is sort of happening with the glowstone, except the block that surrounds the glowstone doesn't exist. So for that reason, I feel like this texture should be changed to be more like the old glowstone texture. Um, basically more gold in these, or more uh, yellow in the, uh, and more brightness in the, the dark spots, essentially. Anyways, that's my feedback for the glowstone. I feel like that one should be changed uh, for those reasons. The doors here. Here's the door uh, textures. I really like the vines, I must say. Is there a place I can put down these vines here? Can I put these up here? Yeah. These vines are awesome. Vines are... You can't really see out well on that. I'll put it on this. Yeah, look at... No, that you can't really see on that either. Let's put it over here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful vines. Beautiful vines. They all connect up very, very well. If I uh, put two vines next to each other right here, like that, you can see... They connect up very well. Very, very good vine texture. I'm very happy with that. Definite improvement on that one, I feel. Uh, one thing I don't like is the lily pads. The lily pads, um, they look too basic. Let me see if I can get a water bucket out here. They look too basic and they're too... Um, how do I say this? If I put this down here, let me just... They're too well divided. Like too... This, this line here splits it in half too much. Um, so I hope they fix fix that a little bit. Um, that could use some improvement. Um, most of the other things here are really nice. The uh, the saplings and stuff are really nice. Uh, just you can see that from the item here. The grass is also quite good. Uh, one thing I want to mention here about the jack-o-lantern. Pumpkin. Pumpkin looks great. I like it. Um, if I don't, don't have the uh, stuff in the background there. There we go. Pumpkin looks nice. Very good. Uh, and then we have the jack-o-lantern, which... So, <laughs> the crafting recipe for jack-o'-lantern is pumpkin plus torch, and somehow here, the pumpkin went from, you know, just a regular carved pumpkin to a pumpkin that is in a tremendous amount of pain and is suffering greatly. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why the, te like, the, the actual shape changed, and also this just looks like this, this pumpkin, but it's in a bad state, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think this should actually be changed to just be this pumpkin texture with uh, the same colorings um, as this as this one. There's no no reason to change the the face, I think. So I hope that that jack-o'-lantern is changed for that reason. Um, yeah, the flowers all look pretty good. I really like all these, actually. All very nice uh, textures there. Eye of Ender. Eye of Ender looks good. Some, uh, liquids, it looks like. Uh, snowballs. Snowballs look a little bit weird. They got that sort of bluish hue to them. Which, I think if it had a little bit less bluish hue, maybe just, like, a little bit less than what it has now, I think it would be perfect. Um, that's my only criticism of that. The ice. Ice looks nice. Ice looks very nice there. And as does the packed ice. It's a lot smoother and makes it look, uh, a little bit slippery. A little bit slippery. So yeah, I like I like the way both these look now. Uh, let's see. The spawn eggs. I'm not really too worried about the spawn eggs because they're not possible to get in survival. The blocks of ore. Blocks of ore look kind of good. Um, I really like the way he did the ore blocks because of the subtle features I mentioned uh, earlier. Um, so if I get out, like for instance, the redstone and the diamond. Yeah. These here. I like how it sort of glows now. How the, the ore bits glow by coloring the, the gray, uh, sort of like the same colors as the ore. You can see that even better in the, the redstone. So you can see how the red of the redstone sort of shines through the gray beside where the ore bit is. So that is awesome. And that happens on all the all the blocks. So you can see the green leaking through there. You can see the the blue. I, actually, the blue doesn't leak through here yet. I'm not sure why, but yeah. I like the way he's done these ores. The ore blocks themselves, let's take a look at some of these. Let's take a look at some of these right here. We'll just take a look at a few of them. 
The iron here has kind of this weird line going through it, which it looks really weird when you just look at one iron block like this. Like right here, this doesn't look that great, but when you put it with other iron blocks, which people typically do, you can start to see why he did it, and it just sort of breaks it up a little bit and makes it look really nice. Yeah. So I liked I liked the iron. The gold, emerald, and diamond. Right here. All were pretty much in desperate need of upgrading. And they all look they all look somewhat decent. I don't think they're gonna be blocks used in building that often, but as as for like highlight blocks, I think just adding these subtle shapes in there. Uh, definitely will help, and also it helps, like, because item frames sort of all fit these now, like that. Yeah, definitely, I think I can see these being used a lot more than they are now with these textures. So, um, yeah, definitely pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. And then we got the lapis and the redstone. Let's like take a look at these real quick. The redstone is pretty much the same. A little bit of slight, slight differences, but uh, the lapis actually changed quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about the lapis yet, but it's, it's an interesting change. Um, yeah, so that's that. Terracotta stayed the same pretty much. Uh, Purper, gotta change that. I, I feel like just throw it out and start over, basically. Uh, the slabs right there. Stairs and stuff have changed, obviously. We've seen a lot of these, so I'm not gonna go over these again. Uh, the sprites for these things look pretty nice. It looks like the puffer fish has not been changed quite yet, but the uh, yeah the the icons for the salmon and stuff and the other fish look pretty nice. It seems like they're a little small, maybe if they could increase the size, could be a little bit better. But overall, pretty decent. Same with these. These are all really nice, especially the saddle with the uh, the extra little detail there uh, coming off of that. So that looks really good. Music discs, uh, the, the 11 disc has changed quite significantly. All the other ones look more or less the same, which I think is fine. Uh, I do like the patterns on the jukebox and the note blocks. So if I just quickly put down, let me see if I can just quickly put down some stuff here. Like a little wall. Yeah, I really like that. It's going to make like a nice like ornate pattern for walls and stuff. So I definitely see these, these note blocks uh, being used in a lot more builds in the near future. Beds, beds look okay. I'm not a big fan of the pillow. This pillow bit needs to be, I think, a little bit less well-defined. Uh, Cause you're trying to, you're trying to look like, I see what he was going for. He was trying to make like a 3D like pillow on a 2D object, but it just ends up looking kind of weird. Um, but he did a great job down here with this. It sort of like ruffled up the bed a little bit. Um, so it's not like a perfect, like, just solid color. So, yes, there's good and bad on the bed. I feel like, you know, just working a little bit on this top portion would make the beds perfect. And then there's nothing in there. Okay, so that is quite a lot of the blocks and things. Uh, a lot of the blocks and textures. I don't think any of these things have ch Well, some of these have changed. The flint and steel, for instance, have changed quite a bit. The shears have changed a little bit. And some of the other ones have changed subtly, it looks like. But yeah, those are a lot of the items and things. So we've seen most of the blocks now, guys, but let's take a look at what they look like when they're placed down. So here is a room of the new textures right here. And you can see there's quite a lot of variation. Uh, I like most of these blocks. The only thing I have to say for sure needs to change is the sponge. The sponge, uh, I feel like it's not, not there yet. I feel like it needs a lot of work. Um, it, it might be that Jappa has started working on the 1.14 stuff, and this would actually fit better with those things down in the ocean. But unless that's the case, I would definitely like start over on this sponge texture because I feel like it's just too much like, you know, like basically cheese, like moldy cheese. Essentially right now, I know that sounds harsh, but I really am just not a fan of it at all, to be honest with you. Uh, all the other textures, I think, have at least some redeeming qualities, but the sponge, I think, is the one in this room, at least, that, um, yeah, could definitely use some improvement. Uh, by the way, this is a really nice chiseled quartz block right here. I like I like that, that texture right there. That's very nice. Anyway, let's now go over here, and we're going to look at the redstone blocks here. So, there actually have been some somewhat big changes, even to things like buttons. 
Uh, these now use the stone texture and the wood texture, for instance. Uh, the gold pressure plate, the weighted pressure plate, the light weighted pressure plate has changed quite significantly. Now it looks like the gold block. This looks like the iron block now. Trip wires have changed so that they look more like the wood planks. So you can see there's actually like some definition in them now. Um, the redstone wire has changed subtly, as have comparators and repeaters. Uh, you've already seen the ore textures. I already talked about how I think the redstone lamp should be changed. Uh, you can see here the minecart interior is now a lot cleaner, which I'm not really sure about. I kind of like like the dirty, like the black of the interior of the minecart. So I kind of I kind of want to see that come back. But um, yeah, here are the other types of minecarts. Uh, one thing I do want to note about this uh, TNT. TNT, I think, could be dramatically improved. Let me just uh, make my way down here. You can see a few of the other texture changes here. Uh, the sticky piston is kind of somewhat notable, so there's a lot of uh, slime on this sticky piston now. And the pistons themselves have the cobblestone texture, as do the dropper and the dispenser. But yeah, this TNT itself... I want to talk about this. I feel like this is way, 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 way oversaturated. Um, I think it, this was done to put like an end on the individual sticks of dynamite. Um, so yeah, it makes it look a little bit more round, but it just does not. It just does not work. I don't think. Like it's too orange. It's too orange here. I think returning to a more subtle shade of red for the top of these and for the top here. Um, I think that would definitely go a long way to making this TNT better. Uh, but I definitely feel like this is one that could be improved. Um, let's see, next one will go to the mob area. So the mobs in general have not really received too much of a texture change quite yet, although it might be coming in the near future. Although it does seem like these guys might see a little bit more green, at least to me. And by the way, now is a good time to demonstrate like what I meant by the blocks of iron all fit together in a large pattern. Uh, I, think, I think this is really, really nice because you can see the line down the center in the individual block, but again, it sort of blends in together when seen as a whole. So that's definitely an improvement with the iron blocks there. Um, so let's go back here. Let's go down this tunnel here. Take a look at some of the non-functional items. Uh, so basically, yeah, like I said, the cake cake has changed. The inside of the cake has also changed a little bit, which I think makes it look a little bit better. A little bit of the icing comes down onto the cake. Here's the new mob spawner again. Uh, the cobweb has subtly changed here. Uh, ladder looks a little bit better as well. Uh, if I make my way down here, here's the end rod. The gray end rod right there. Uh, we can see the new doors. The furnaces right here. Here's what the new furnace texture looks like. Uh, the doors have subtly changed as I said. So nothing too major in terms of changes for the doors, but I do think the oak ones in, in particular and, and including the trapdoor should be changed a little bit. Here's the mossy cobblestone wall, uh, fitting quite well with the regular cobblestone. But again, I wish the moss would change color depending on the biome. I think that would be a big improvement. Shulker boxes have not changed. Uh, anvils look slightly different now. A little bit of a different color scheme on the anvil for that. Same with the cauldrons. Cauldrons are looking like this now. So you can see that right there. There's the awesome... Brewing stand, the enchantment table, looking nice with the new, in, new uh, obsidian texture. Here's the beacon. Beacon's looking pretty cool. Uh, if we look over here, here's the fence, the fence gate, things like that. So you can see all the different varieties right there. And then, of course, the snow, which has a subtle blue hint now, which I really like. Um, just maybe a little bit less blue, but other than that, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Next thing we're going to show you is all the saplings. So all the saplings are right here. So we got some oak saplings, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia tree, and dark oak saplings. And it's really cool. I think these saplings are all really, really good because they all sort of represent and look like the tree that eventually grows from them. Uh, as you can see here. So like the dark oak one's really stubby. The acacia one's sort of all over the place. The jungle one has like these vines sort of hanging down a little bit. And it's also somewhat tall and like uh, vertically oriented. Uh, the spruce, it looks like a Christmas tree and everything. Uh, the birch looks like, yeah, the birch tree when it grows up. And then the oak is sort of a little bit of everything right over here. So I think those are all really good. Here's the grass, the ferns, everything like that. There's the vines. Got the coarse fruit here. That's a little bit of a different texture for that. 
And then, of course, the stages of growth for the uh, potatoes, the carrots, and the wheat right here. And, yeah, it, it, the wheat, I don't know, I still think it's a little bit too golden here once it's fully grown. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they change that. The flowers, flowers all look really good right here, I think. Uh, here's what they look like planted down. You can see some melons back here. Pumpkin right over there. And then the nether wart. The beetroot look really cool now, right here. Definite improvement there. Cocoa beans are a little bit different as well. Uh, lily pad, I think, definitely needs improvement, though. And here's the sunflower and the other two tall flowers right there. Very good. Next up, let's take a look at the armor set. So the biggest changes here I see are to the golden armor right here. So this looks quite dramatically different right here if I just walk in here. Uh, you can see, yeah, I look, I look pretty golden, <laughs> I gotta say. I actually do like this, though. It looks very cool on me. Um, so that is a big change to the gold armor set. Uh, if I go ahead and then look at the chain mail, this is also quite a significant change. There's not as much chain, basically, and it's more armor than chain now. So if I step in here and take a look, a lot of this is now covered. Instead of just being chain mail, it's sort of like a chain mail uh, hybrid type thing. Uh, right there, so that's also changed a little bit. Uh, the iron looks like it's changed a little bit. Just very subtly. But not a whole lot. So you can see that right there. Different highlights in different spots. The, uh, the diamond armor set, though, does look like it's changed a little bit as well. Um, so, yeah, here's what that looks like on me. There we go, right there. So that is that. So guys, here are my final thoughts about the textures. I like some of them a lot, all the ones in the green area, and I don't like some of them a lot as well, uh, some of these in the red area. So let's just go through these real quick. So again, like I said, the brewing stand, probably one of the best, better ones, and one of the better changes. All three of the stone types in the overworld, I feel like the polished variants in particular, were pretty exceptional, especially this polished diorite. I feel like this block could become sort of a staple of building because, I mean, this looks fantastic even just by itself like this. Like, this can be used in almost any situation, like in a kitchen or a bathroom or a factory floor, pretty much anywhere. I think this thing is going to be one of the most used building blocks in the next update. Also, like the nether blocks, the nether quartz ore and the nether brick in particular look pretty good. The ores also got improved dramatically. The hay bales look good. The glass looks good. All the saplings are greatly improved, I feel. The podzole, the note block, prismarine bricks, the iron uh, iron block looks really good with the subtle, subtle uh, line down the middle right there. Really helps when you have a lot of them together in one spot. Beacon looks really good. And all these sprites, I think, all look fantastic. Like, really, really good sprites or icons, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, super awesome improvements there. Uh, some of the things I think could be improved, the off state of the redstone lamp I think needs to be improved. Same thing with the trap door and the sponge. The jack-o'-lantern with the sad face, the, 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 the anguish on this jack-o'-lantern says, says it needs to be changed. The lily pad with the dividing line down the center. Uh, the oversaturation of the TNT. The cookie cutter door. The, the pillow of the bed. And then these sprites right here. I think uh, need to be improved. Uh, like the diamond is just not not uh, shiny enough. The glowstone dust uh, sh should be a little bit more gold, a little bit more bright. Um, and the sign, you know, like the, the words on the sign should be a little bit more uh, vibrant and visible um, amongst other stuff. So guys, those are my opinions on the new textures. And let me know what you guys think about the new textures. If you like them, if you don't like them, if you hate them, if you love them. And also, I just want to note real quickly that the map and the texture pack that uh, the new textures are in, those will both be first thing down in the description. So it'll be the first will be a download link to the texture pack, and the second will be a download link to QMagnet's resource pack test, which most of this video took place in. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like, and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Very excited about the new textures personally, and hope you guys are too. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.